Hi, this my friends is a short tribute to a very great man who passed away on the 25th of February 2021 from cancer. A death that is beyond words to describe. Um, Ian R. Crane, Ian Rowland Crane, but known as Ian R. Crane, was a previous oil executive who had an awakening and became the most dedicated researcher, broadcaster, campaigner, activist for truth. I was very privileged to meet Ian on three occasions and on three, all, all three occasions he was doing his best to alert people of the dangers of fracking. Ian was absolutely tireless. I met him in a very small hall in an obscure Wiltshire town speaking to a handful of people on a tour that was taking him round the country probably to speak to other handfuls of people about fracking. And he knew his stuff because of his background and because he was just a tireless researcher. He was a great speaker, a warm and engaging man. And I don't think I've ever come across anybody who has put themselves out there so relentlessly to help and alert people to things that were coming. And thankfully, fracking has not come on the level that he had predicted at the time. And he was there on the front line. He lived in a caravan in the sites around the north of England while the fracking explorations were going on. And he made live streams every morning, standing there in his woolly hat, in the cold, often on his own at the gates, trying to protect the land and the creatures and the people from what he knew was coming. Because Ian had travelled to Australia. He made a wonderful documentary. When I say wonderful, it wasn't pleasant, but it was an excellent documentary on fracking in Australia called Voices from the Gas Fields. And he knew what was going to come to this country, only it would have been far more of a catastrophe if that's possible because of the nature of how overpopulated and small this island is compared to Australia. But he has documented the devastation in Australia too. I can't recommend his work highly enough to you. I don't want him or his work to be forgotten. He didn't just talk about fracking, he talked about all sorts of things. He ran a conference every year called AV Alternative View, getting together speakers who were also researchers into truth. And he also, I don't know, he was just an extraordinary person. He was doing all this campaigning, all the, all the talks around the country, and he would go down to Plymouth to do two broadcasts every couple of weeks, sometimes every week, I think. Um, one was Humanity versus Insanity, which was a brilliant title. And the other one was Fracking Nightmare, which obviously was about fracking. Please don't let Ian be forgotten. He's changed so many lives. He has woken so many people up. And he was just a great shining example. He was humble. He had no airs about him. He just got on and did it. Really. I'm almost going to cry here because, wow, Ian R. Crane, I salute you and I hope that people will follow your lead, if possible, that you've set them a pretty high bar to, to follow, but if you can do it, so can we, eh? Thank you, Ian.